hypochloric acid. You love it, you use it. Should you be using it? Well, I don't know. Let's talk about it. Hi, I'm your local OBGYN. I love women. And boric acid is having its moment because a lot of you have access to it in the setting of really stubborn vaginal infections. So boric acid uh, is technically rat poison. I did say that. And you should not ingest it because it can be quite toxic and dangerous to take orally. So don't do that. However, if you use it based on what the dosing recommendations are on whatever you know formulation that you get and you use it as a vaginal suppository, it can be an effective tool against really stubborn yeast and BV. But you need to realize that when you use boric acid, it is basically annihilating all of your bacterial balance in your downstairs parts. So when you treat with boric acid, you shouldn't use more than what the bottle says. And then down there can get rid of all the bacteria that's bad, might get rid of the bacteria that's good. I usually recommend that if you're going to do boric acid, you should follow up with a vaginal probiotic. And there's a bunch of different varieties that exist. Some you can find at the pharmacy. I happen to like the ones that are by Bonafide, uh, which is the company, I think it's called Clarivy. I find it to be really beneficial for down there in rebuilding the good bacteria so that you don't have to worry that the bad bacteria can kind of creep back in in this new empty environment and start causing havoc again. You don't want to live on boric acid indefinitely. And if you have any open sores or really chafed irritated tissue, it could burn. So be cautious.